Al Raj camp in northeast Syria is filled with desperate families that nobody wants. They're families of ISIS fighters or supporters, women and children, many from the West, now abandoned by their countries. We tried to talk to the most high profile to be stripped of her British citizenship. Shamima. But Shamima Begum, who ran away as a teenager, isn't Shamima. talking after losing her latest legal challenge Shamima. to regain it. The signs outside her tent indicate she's turned against ISIS, like all those we spoke to here told us. Many, like Shamima Begum, say they were trafficked to the Islamic State, often raped and beaten. Many have been here for more than five years, unable to leave, and argue they and their children are being punished for what their fathers did. It's a bad mistake that has been made, but I want to go back. Another Briton from Yorkshire, too scared to show her face, told us her seven-year-old son Adam, who was born in Raqqa, hadn't any future in the camp. There's no schools, no schools, no reading or writing, nothing. And there's no doctors. And we want to get back home to try me out over there. No, and don't do this to Adam. He's uh, innocent. Her story is a familiar one, with a range of different nationalities telling us they'd been forgotten or dumped by their governments. From long time, I tried to escape from there, and my husband didn't want because it's like uh, uh, so radical, you know, in the ideology of the Islamic State. And he says, if you try to escape, I will kill you with my hands, you know. Zakia wants to return to Germany, saying her husband tricked her into going to Raqqa. I try to run away two times, yes, but they catch me and they beat me and then uh, where to go? I stay and then he died after five months when I come, 2014 I come, he died and I was pregnant. What to do? She had two children born in Germany and then three more born from forced marriages in Syria. This one I give birth in Hamimbej, this one in Mayadin and she in the camp. In Al Roj? Yep. And, and your older one? She is in Germany, Stuttgart. Hmm. I give birth her in Stuttgart. Her youngest has spent all five years of her life in this camp, which she cannot escape. Her two older siblings were born whilst held by ISIS, and her 10-year-old can't remember any of her German, but knows she wants to leave Al Raj. Here isn't good, she tells us. We're trapped like chickens. I want to go outside and go to parks. I was born in Germany. Many of the women appeared too frightened to be seen talking to us. There are extremist elements in this closed-off camp which many liken to prison. And there are a lot of children. Of the tens of thousands of people held in the two camps, Half of them are children, 80% of them are under the age of 12, and 30% are under the age of five. And there are human rights organizations galore saying that this is in contravention of UN rights for children. We call him Johnny Bravo. Kirsty is from Johnny Melbourne Bravo. in Australia, and her four-year-old was born in the camp. His older sister was two when they were put in here, and they dream of returning. Like they've done absolutely nothing wrong. I try to not explain to them that they're in like a prison type thing, but they just they don't understand. You know, it's very difficult. It's very very difficult to to live in a closed off with no freedom, no knowing when you're gonna be free, when what's happening with you, living in limbo. In some of the tents, they try to recreate home for their children, but they're seething with frustration. I think that not just the children, but most of the women are being punished for uh, basically a decision that was made on our behalf. And our government, even though we've reached out continuously, they're refusing to kind of acknowledge that there are their citizens are still remain here trapped in the camps. You know, Australian-born children are still here. We are human beings at the end of the day. An animal won't be able to withstand these conditions. And I'm being honest with you. My son has a severe asthma. He, I almost lost him last year. And my government is aware of this. The boys are especially vulnerable, often taken to male prisons as soon as they reach puberty. This own. teenager vented much of the children's helplessness. Does, but my father is in prison. Mm. Mm. That's normal. We don't, you know, my father, he, he does something. I'm totally okay with that because he should pay for his own mistake, not, not me nor my brothers. The children here have known nothing but conflict and closed camps, and no country seems to want to take responsibility for them. <laughs> Alex Crawford, Sky News in Al Roj camp in northeast Syria.